Hello Aquarius. Welcome to the channel. This is your love reading from August the 1st to August the 15th, 2020. For those of you who are returning, thank you very much for all of your likes, for sharing and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. So this is a love reading for those of you who are connecting with someone on a romantic level or you want to be connecting with someone on a romantic level. The person of interest does need to know you though. Okay, I've already prayed on the cards guys. Okay, quite tough. Oh boy. Okay, Aquarius, let's climb this mountain, guys. All right, so I'm going to express to you what it is that this person is feeling. The first card here is beauty, followed by grief, crisis, pleasure, laughter, mystery, betrayal, illusion, and healing. Someone express to you what it is that this person is feeling currently for you. My dear Aquarius, the time that I have known you over this time, I've grown to see that not only are you a beautiful person on the outside, but you're a very beautiful person on the inside as well. And what has happened between us, I am very regretful, remorseful, sorrow and grief, pain in my heart, I feel. Sometimes I even cry over what has happened. I feel very much overwhelmed. There's mental anguish, anxiety, frustration that I have, and I don't know which way to turn. I don't know what to do about the situation. There's so much pleasure that I gain from you, and you give me so much pleasure, Aquarius. It makes me tingly on the inside. I do enjoy my relationship, the connection. I do enjoy this because you make me laugh. You make me laugh. There's things that happen in our lives that are quite funny. You make me feel young again. You make me feel alive again. And I wonder why is it and how is it that you came into my life? For what reason? Were our paths meant to cross? Were we meant to be together? If so, why? I feel I have broken your heart, Aquarius, and I feel bad about this. I feel sad and my heart is breaking because I have broken your heart. I've betrayed you in a way that nobody ever expected this would happen. I didn't expect for this to happen. I didn't know what I was doing and I'm just overwhelmed by this feeling of remorse and sadness. I never knew that hurting you would make me feel like this. In this relationship I do feel that there was a lack of trust, that there was a lack of transparency. And now all I do is hide behind a veil. I hide my true feelings, I hide my emotions, I pretend like nothing ever happened. 
I pretend like everything is okay. But is everything okay? No, because I am very sad on the inside and I'm losing my mind. And for that, I want to be alone because I can't handle the situation anymore. What I've put you through, I can't handle it. I need to be left alone because I need to think long and hard about what I have done. How I did you wrong, Aquarius. I just want to go to the hills, be by myself, remain cold, and think about what I did and why I did it and how can I make things better. I feel like a terrible human being. I am coming to the realization that there was a reason why you came into my life and I did not appreciate that enough. I did not value that enough. And for now, I just want to be left alone. Okay, Aquarius. That was hard, guys. There's no doubt this person's going through a lot, but Aquarius, this person put you through a lot too. Sometimes you have to go through so much pain in order to realize what life is all about. All right, guys. Let's have a look at the intentions of this person or any plans that this person has, actions that they're going to be taking. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Yep. This is a very particular and accurate reading, I have to admit. This is ridiculously, like this is for somebody, not a buddy, this is for quite a few people here. And it just flows. It's a complete storyline, guys. Aquarius, this person does feel as if they have lost somebody or they are losing somebody like you who is so abundant. There is so much abundance, so many things that you can provide to this person, not just materialistically. There's emotional stability too. For me, the Ten of Pentacles doesn't just mean a good catch. No, some of you have mentioned this before. It also means stability, where the future will be more secure. Emotions can change. Yes, money changes too. But this person does feel that they can provide for you and they want to give you these type of things in the near future. Yes, they want to definitely give you an offer. They're going to come around, guys, and they're going to give you an offer. They want to use various methods to reach out to you. They want to communicate with you and express to you how they feel. There is a lack of communication between the both of you, and for that reason, this person is starting to become a little jealous, and they're also starting to check you out online or to check you out or ask your friends, ask your family how you're doing, what you're doing these days because there's that lack of communication between you. They're trying to find out more about you before they approach you. What they can't get over is the past. They have had beautiful, sweet, innocent memories with you in the past when everything had just started off between you. That fresh new feeling, 
that smile that wouldn't go away, that funny feeling on the inside when you look at someone and you feel so shy. They feel all of that, guys, and they miss it. They adore it, and they crave for it, and they want it back. They're coming to the realization they're growing up, guys. They've grown up emotionally. This is what's happening now. It depends on who it is you guys want them back. That's fine. If not, that's up to you. But this person, from their point of view, is ready to come back to you. They want you and only you. Wow. Okay. This is the Lover's Path tarot deck. So I'm just going to be pulling out two cards. Let's see anything negative in the relationship may come up here. This may be, um, it could be vice versa. Feelings and situations that have occurred that are on the negative aspect. What's causing any hindrances? What's causing any blockages? Okay, so you have Tradition, Three of Coins, and Three of Staffs. I am going to be reading from the booklet. Not so used to this deck so far. Okay. The need to, the need to throw out old social structures that constrain. Okay, so something that's holding this relationship back, Aquarius, is the way the world is and the way you have certain beliefs. Um, there's a certain way that this person thinks and the way that you think and it's not going well very much together um, Their traditions and yours are very different and so there is a need to throw this out It has to be finished in order for something better to come through Yes, unconventional ideas There is a want to approach the situation in a new way however Someone is not doing it because they're afraid of what the future may bring or what the consequences may be. The next card here is the Three of Coins. The Three of Coins talks about the need to recheck plans for expansion. Are they even practical? It is important to consult with those who are more experienced in relationships and with situations that have gone, people that have gone through these type of situations. It's important to consult with those kind of people. Either you can talk to people or you can just watch videos where they have experts who have done research about relationships and how to deal with certain people during certain circumstances. You can look at that as well if you do not feel comfortable consulting with people. Three of Staves. The Three of Staves does talk about ambitions plan, ambitious plans that may not be grounded in reality. So Aquarius, it could be that the situation started off very um, fast and it did not seem to be very practical. It was very much in a dream-like state, fantasy. So that is an issue that it was not grounded. And there have been delays because of the lack of practicality in this relationship. So somebody in this relationship, guys, was not being very practical. They were living like in a dreamland type state. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be reading, going through this is hilarious, sorry. Okay. This is the Doreen Virtue stack. Um, angel answer cards. So I'll be pulling out for you. I'll do it quicker. I'm going to pull out seven. All right, 
improving health unlikely reconsider no need to worry oops yes perfect timing the situation will improve and under the bottom of the deck there is something better all right guys so I am going to explain to you what this means so that it makes more sense to you so Archangel Michael Raphael and Gabriel know about your situation and they have provided you this message that first of all they don't like the fact that this entire situation Aquarius is causing you health problems whether you have health problems or not they do know that your energy fields are starting to become effective your energy centers your chakras and your aura is starting to become affected because of this and they need you to be more positive because they want to improve the health health is wealth yes health comes first the angels are saying health comes first so they are going to help you now and you are going to see a difference in your health it's going to improve you need to stay more positive in order for this to improve what you were planning on doing and what you were planning on um, that what you were thinking the outcome would be of this relationship is highly unlikely it's not going to be what you thought it was going to be like you are going to have to reconsider your plans because they will not work if you don't reconsider them because they will unlikely work and there's no need to worry because if you start something new it's not going to make a difference it is going to work out in your favor yes you will at that time realize that this is perfect timing you will know when to communicate with this person it will be perfect timing at that point the situation will have improved there is something better than the situation that you're in right now let go of this person Aquarius for now it's hard I know this person is going to come back to you Aquarius but for now focus on your health reconsider what it is you were thinking and what you're planning in regards to this person the angels are telling you there's no need to worry because the situation is going to improve you will know when the time is perfect to make these changes and yes these changes are going to occur and there's something better that's going to happen in the future yes so Aquarius I hope I was able to clarify a few things for you let me know in the comments below guys if you have time you don't have to so I hope everything works out it, it's gonna work out you guys just need some time um, there's a lot going on with this person too they're going through a lot and of course it depends on you if you want go ahead with it if you don't want that's up to you so I will see you guys again in mid-August again thank you very much for all of your love and support it's a blessing for me thank you and I will see you guys again you guys take care stay safe and definitely stay positive all right then bye bye now